What's going on boys and girls? What's cracking? We are back. Normal service has resumed. So I've just tried going down to my playground. But they're digging it up. Putting new jumps here or modifying jumps or something. So that's a no-go. So this is my next best part. So I thought I'd come down. It's the first time I've been out this year. I've got my RC all-wheel drive shocks I've got to test. And I've see I've made my car lighter now. I've gone back old school. So some of you might remember. Whoop, some of you might remember that I put Jubilee clips on my arms. Do you remember? I've took the fronts off and done this in. I've got small ones on there now. On both sides, front and the back of the arm. And I've got no chassis chassis bar either. So now we're just running pure stock chassis. So this see how see how strong the EXP chassis really is because I never ran it stock chassis. I ran it straight with a bash bar. That was one of the first things I brought before I took it out. So we shall see how well this goes. Oh, that was smooth, that was. Bills? Oh, yeah, go on. So I did try and come out before, but as you see in my prep video, in my prep video, my rear diff, I shimmed it too tight. So that was my own fault. And that lasted about 30 seconds, that run. Oh, tumble. Oh, I'm still on wheels. Yeah, so that run didn't last very long. Oh, I've got no steering. Oh, something's broken. But what? Yeah. No, it's not steering very well to the left. Oh, keep going. Keep going until she dies. I've not been out for ages, so I'm just going to keep going until she is dead. So this is kind of like a redemption run. Oh, saved it. Oh, come on. Yeah, so once it keeps pulling to the right hand side for some reason. Ah, oh, didn't make wheels that time. So yeah, so this is the first time I've been out this year. First time I've been out, what, for about three months, I think. Something like that. Yeah, look. I'm trying to steer, and I've got no steering. So it's binding. So let me have a look. And I'll bring it back if she works or not. I'll let you know what's going on. Alright, guys, the key is back. 
but it turns out the problem was the dry shaft popped out the top and now my steering's all on the whack so dead sharp one way not the other but that's an issue for another day I'm not sorting that out today <coughs> Oh, I just made that. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Come on, wheels, wheels. Oh, you son of a bitch. We shall keep going until she breaks. Oh gosh, she's an absolute beast, this is. Guys, that lady in the red coat just shit her, so oh, say that. Some it ain't right, some it don't sound good <clears throat> as it's flying for the air, it sounds like it wants to stop. I don't know what it is. I wonder what it looks like from here. This could go horribly wrong. I could hit myself. Oh. That, look at that. Smack bang in the centre just there. That's where it landed. I don't know what the fuck that was. Ah, it's on the roof again, man. As you can tell, guys, there is no plan to this video whatsoever. It's just absolutely... Just send it. Send it until she breaks. And uh, that might be LVC on that one, kids. Ugh. Yeah, that, that steering we're going to power. But well, I do have another battery pack. So, stick with me. And I'll be back. Boys well, and girls, now it's time for the RC LiPo. 6,000 milliamp power, 120 C discharge. Look at that, 120C, that's time for some raw power.
Alright guys, I don't know if you can see the little old lady over there in the middle of the frame. That's her. While she uh, was walking past, she see me changing the batteries in the car. And she just had a quick chat with me. I don't know if she's lonely or whatnot, bless her, but she's lovely. Let her, let her dogs like have a sniff around the car. I don't think the dog was too impressed. But nonetheless, she's nice enough. Getting on a bit, but still nice enough. Most people moan. You can't bring cars on here, it's for kids. Do they not realise us big adults are big kids? What the fuck was that? Oh, that's actually got power in there, she keeps landing on the bloody roof. Footage. Dry shaft stuck again. God damn it. Doing my head in. Alright, let me sort this out and I'll bring it back. Alright, guys, I just got it back to the car and it turns out it was the rear dry shaft that got stuck this time and it's chewed my cup up quite a bit, which sucks, but never mind, it is what it is. Truck's filthy now. And I've also found out, I think, I've done my piston in that shop. So, uh, that's dead stiff. Let me show you on the floor. Ah, car's disgustingly filthy. All right, so this is how the shock should feel. This one, it's like non-existent, there's nothing there. So I think I might have bust the piston in it. <coughs> So these are the first time these shocks have been run on this car properly in this sort of conditions. I don't know what to, what to expect from them. I was just testing the shafts really, but it turns out that the pistons in them ain't strong enough. So I'm gonna either have to make some at work or try and find some that fit that's stronger. But until I get the car back and get it stripped down, I won't know for sure what's going on. So that has ended my day. The sun is starting to go down now, which is a shame because I was going to take out this little bad boy and see how that goes around the little pump track. But for now, guys, this is it. This is going to wrap up my video. So please like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry it's not as, as good as it could be. I was hoping to get down the playground, but they're just tearing it up. So for now, this will have to do. First, first one back of the year. So for now, I'm out.